Cheetah up again. I'm glad you came back to check me out. Uh, hope you're doing okay out there. But our next project, I think you're like, you probably saw it before on the internet, on different other cha different channels. But um, I'm going to install it in T-Dub, that way you can see how I install it. Make it simple and quick. Anyway, this is called Oxygenix um, shower head for RVs. This should save on water because the um, shower head that I um, have in here now is the same shower head that came when, with the RV when it was built. So now it's time to do a little upgrade. Doesn't cost much, of course. And um, we'll see how it goes. I also purchased a shutoff valve. Um, on the, you can see here, it's a little nice, heavy shutoff valve, of course. I'll put a description in the link if you want to order the shutoff valve right here or the shower head. I got the alabaster color. I didn't get the white, but they do come in white alabaster. That's like a off-white. I'm um, in a black, I think, and a silver. I think I've seen all of them out there. But I'll put that link in the description. You can order it. And um, what else are we going to do? Um, that should be it. Um, also, with the shower head, the only way you can turn it off without using this here is by the um, spigot. So come on, let's install this shower head. It shouldn't take that long. No one to five, ten minutes tops. This um, shower head came in like about five pieces. You got the, act the actual um, shower head itself. You got tubing. You have the bracket that goes on the um, wall of the shower that locks the shower head in. So you have somewhere to place it to um, park it. It came with a plastic um, on and off valve. It goes left and right, and but I'm going to use this metal one. I hope it works. If not, I'll go back to this plastic one, but that's your choice. I'm going to use the metal one for this time to try something out. Then it came with 3M tape. I'm not going to use 3M tape in the shower because what's going to happen after a while, this is going to probably get steamy or get wet, condensation again. It's going to fall right off the... Um, off the wall of the shower and I'm not going to use these th two inch um, screws that came with it as well because I just don't feel comfortable um, putting two inch screws in the walls of the RV I just don't want it to protrude out on the outside of the RV I'm not for sure how thick the walls are but I won't take a chance on putting two inch screws I'm going to use my own smaller screws and that's about it so I already, I already removed the um, shower head from the um, holder that was on top. This was the old shower head that I had. You can see how old it is. Um, I'm going to put something newer in here and um, we'll see what happens. So what I'll do is unscrew this here from the um, spigot right here. The, all the water is turned off. I didn't turn off the water from the entire rig because I didn't have to because when you lift this up, that's when it comes out of the shower head. So basically you just unscrew it from here. And once you unscrew it, you can lay this here to the side. I'll put it just here for right now. And this came with tape on it with a disclaimer. It, it basically told you that the washers are already installed. As you can see inside of there, there are the washers. So basically from there, I'll go ahead and screw this back on. We don't need any kind of fast tape on this here. Just want to hand tighten. Don't over tighten, just simply hand tighten. Once you feel it's tight, you're, you're fine. Then remember this um, metal piece here, this metal piece. I'm going to just basically screw it on to this head of the shower. Like so, I'm not using any kind of fast tape. No, like I mentioned earlier, I think there's no need to right now, unless we have any drips. And once we, if we have any drips, then you know, then you have to use fast tape. But I don't have to use that right now. So it looks good. I like this metal on here, which is plastic. It gives it a little um, robust look to it. It actually helps out on the um, shower head itself. It looks great. So next part of this here, we're going to install the bracket um, 
for the shower head, I removed the old alabaster um, bracket and put in a new nice, nice clean one. So come back with me, I'll show you the rest of it. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to remove this bracket right here. I see there are two screws that was holding it up and they put, I guess the previous owners, they did use rubber silicone, a rubber adhesive, I'm glad they did that, with some little shims behind there. So this bracket here um, came with one hole um, I'm going to be using. So hopefully if I can use one of the screws, screws that was in here already and just use that to hold this up. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna remove these screws here and we're not going to discard them just yet because we might, uh, I just need one, just need one screw um, out of here and maybe we can use that for the other one. We'll see what happens. Depends on how long they are. Alright, so you can see earlier I had two inch screws. These are probably an inch. So I'm going to be using these here, one of them at least. So let's take the other one out. Just using the Phillips screwdriver um, to take this out, nothing more. So that's only, basically only tool you need unless you are installing this here in a different spot. Then you want to use your drill to drill out another um, a hole. But I always recommend when you're drilling inside of an RV, you can put tape around the bit of the drill to know how far you got to go. And try to keep it as one inch at least from, you know, of the drill bit. Don't use the two, don't go two inches unless it's an interior wall and you want to go further, but use the one inch. It helps out a lot. It keeps from making holes on the outside of your RV. So I'm just going to take, basically take this off. Nothing but um, this bracket here that was um, that was on the wall here and and that's all you got to do and now I'm just going to peel off this rubber silicone a rubber adhesive they had on here earlier so I'll peel that off and we'll get started on installing the um, bracket. So I got most of the uh, rubber adhesive off here from the previous owner who had the RV. Um, basically, I just took it off with my fingernail. It comes off real easily, actually. So what I'll do, I'll use some more adhesive that I've been using in my other projects. And I'll put a dab on here because I'm going to use this one, of, one of these holes here, not both. I'll use just one. And just put a dab on here and um, there you go. Just a dab. So I'll lay that to the side. And what I'll do, I'm going to use, let's see if I can turn it, yeah. I'll use this bottom hole here. So basically, if I can, maybe I can use the top hole. I'm going to go with the top hole this time. And then I'll just cover this bottom hole up with some adhesive. And that should do it. Because I was going to use the bottom hole, but then it doesn't line up with the hole itself. So that's why I'm going to use this top one. And if you want, you can use, um, you can go out and buy some, um, you can go out and buy some halibaster like caulk, and you can just caulk it up, match the hole, and it looks very nice after that. So um, I'm going to put a little bead right here because it's going to rest on this ledge right, this ledge right here, and I'll show you how that looks in a bit. Do, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. But I, because this um, shower head here is pretty heavy. So I'll let it dry, and then once it dries, then I can basically just si simply put it inside of this here um, and start using the shower. Anyways, this is teed up. Thanks for joining me. This was a pretty easy project. It didn't take no more than, um, I think, about eight to ten minutes maybe, because you need all the, all the parts set up and ready to go.
Um, try it out. It, it's supposed to save water. You might have heard of this product online with different other um, RVers out there. I just want to try it out and see if it works for me. Hit the subscribe button on top, and I'll talk to you guys later. Be safe out there.